Hey YouTube, I'm back again. Uh, got some more pickups to show you. Um, just want to show you what I picked up from the charity shops uh, and also a few things off the internet uh, just over the last week. Yeah, so firstly, um, this one I've actually had for the last couple of weeks um, and I completely forgot about it in my last video. Um, I'd actually been watching it and I left the case over by the TV um, and it wasn't on the pile uh, ready for the video so I completely missed it well until after I'd finished recording that I realised um, so yeah I left it just for this one um, so I grabbed Primeval New World a complete series this is uh, it's actually a German release there was no UK Blu-ray released um, yeah, we, we only got the DVD over here uh, and I was quite surprised actually it came with this slip cover as well I wasn't expecting that I got this off Amazon it only cost a tenner it's brand new um, yeah and I was really really chuffed to have got this um, I did watch this series when it was on telly what was it about two three years ago maybe more 2012 so it's uh, probably five years ago wow anyway yeah, I really, really enjoyed this. I was always a, a, a big fan of the uh, the original, or the UK, should I say, Primeval series. And uh, uh, it was such a shame because this had so much potential. It was really, really good. And they cancelled it after the after the first series. And it, of course it ended on a, a, not one, not two, I think, but three huge cliffhangers. Yeah, so it's uh, it was a bit bittersweet. It was great, great to watch it again, especially in high definition. But uh, obviously, it ended, and uh, we never saw any more after that. But uh, having bought this now and watched it through, um, I've gone back and started uh, the original Prime Evil series again. And, uh, watched the first three series of that over the last couple of weeks. So I'm, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to going through the rest of those again and. Might even watch this again when I'm done. Yeah, I'm really chuffed we've got that. Uh, then a bunch of uh, uh, pickups from 88 films. Um, these arrived um, on Friday before last weekend, but I wasn't in, so I had to go and pick them up from the sorting office on the Saturday morning. Um, that's so too big to go through the letterbox. Anyway. Firstly, we've got Dead Heat. This is a uh, limited edition with a slip cover, which, of course, like always, doesn't want to come off. Um, there we go. Yeah, so we've got uh, slightly different, but at the same time, similar artwork. Um, I think the reversible artwork. Inside is very similar to the disc, it's uh, also the same as the front cover, or should I say the same as the slip cover? Yeah, you can see in there. So, but yeah, this is an awesome movie. I remember uh, first seeing this in, I want to say, the early 90s on uh, one of the satellite channels um, on Sky. Um, I absolutely loved it. and. Uh, I had it on VHS, I think recorded, I don't think I had an original copy but I certainly had it recorded off the TV for years and years on VHS um, I've never had a DVD copy of this so I'm, yeah, I'm really chuffed to have, uh, to have got a Blu-ray uh, and then also for me eight films again with a limited slip cover this is a Amok, this is uh, part of the Italian collection, which is span number 28 from 1972. So I'm really happy to have got that. And even though I said I wasn't going to get it, I ended up getting Intruder with the limited slip cover. Um, the main reason for getting this was ordering those two. They didn't uh, qualify for free shipping because you need 
I think they've put it down now to £30, but it used to be 35 and before that it was even cheaper than that, but last year I think it was, I think it was 20 or £25 and they knocked it right up. But they put it back down to 30 but these are 14 99 each, so they didn't quite reach the £30. And they've also put the uh, minimum postage cost now to 2 99 So in the end I thought, oh, what the heck, I'm going to get this. Uh, get the slip cover and the copy that's the original copy of this I bought of sold on eBay to go towards this one so yeah that's uh, Slasher Classics collection uh, and this was I think you don't even need to take it out with slip cover it's uh, number 23 from 1989 but I, I've watched this um, I really, really enjoyed it. It was, it was, uh, it was one I'd not seen before, and uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was good. Uh, a little bit cheeky, I think, putting uh, Bruce Campbell's name on the cover there because uh, he's only in it for about thirty seconds, and it's about the last thirty seconds of the film. So yeah, I think it was a little bit cheeky putting his name uh, slap bang in the middle of the uh, top middle of the the cover. But uh, yeah, still really good. Um, just the right amount of cheese. I really enjoyed that. Uh, and then also off, or not also, but off eBay, um, an Arrow release I've been looking to get for a long time. It's uh, It's been deleted and prices are starting to go up now. Um, this is Pieces. Uh, it's only fiver. Um, so yeah, I was chuffed to get that. Um, you see them advertised on eBay as high as 20 odd quid now, which is ridiculous. I mean, who's going to pay that? Even on Amazon, people are asking 10, 15 pound upwards um so yeah to, this this had been on before from the same seller and they'd have it for six pound and normally a bit and then they relisted it for a fiver so i thought oh, what the heck i'll put a bid in and a bid in one so yeah it's got the poster on the booklet that's another one to take off the list for the arrow releases that i need uh, and next up shameless um of all the companies to have a Valentine's Day sale, Shameless wouldn't have been top of my list, but they did. Uh, they only put five titles up, five of their DVD titles, um, reduced them to, to five or a piece. And there was three that I didn't have, so I grabbed them, five of each. I got uh, Love Goddess of the Cannibals, which is spine number 22. Beast in Space, and this is spine number 24, and Top Sensation, which is spine number 46, and this is limited edition uh, of 2000. Yep, um, the other two that I had were Satan's Baby Doll, which I only picked up about two weeks ago uh, off eBay, and uh, the Sister of Ursula, um, which were all a fiver apiece, but they were, they were only those five titles. But uh, yeah, it was nice of them to put a sale on because they haven't done for for a while now. Okay, uh, moving on, uh, we have some uh, charity shop pickups. So, firstly. Uh, Butterwick Hospice. I picked up a VHS of the borrowers. This is a double tape. It cost twenty p. Uh, yep, the, uh, the case isn't in such great condition. But, uh, got the box, but yeah, twenty p is fine. Uh, and I guess this probably was donated by the same person. Um, Max and Paddy's Road to Nowhere. The complete series. Uh, this was a quid. Again, the uh, the case is uh, looks like it's been chewed up, similar to that one right on the edge there. Um, I already own this. Um, this was purely trade bait. It's gonna go into CEX. I think they're trading in is it six or eight pounds. I can't remember, but either way, it's uh, yeah, it's get me something I want out of CEX. Uh, then also from the Butterwick Hospice, although a different Butterwick Hospice, um, 
I picked this up last weekend. Top Gear the Challenge is five. Again, this was a quid. Um, this is a two disc set. Yeah, it is. It's a two disc set. So, okay. Happy to have got another Top Gear release. I didn't know. Uh, then these next four came from uh, Age UK. Uh, again, they're 49 pence each or 4 for 99p offer. So, brand new factory sealed. I got Magnolia. Never ever seen this, but it's got a pretty good cast, so uh, we'll give that a go. Perfect Storm, um, a title that I already own uh, on HD DVD, but it's one of these nice snapper cases that I like to collect. Um, and it's in pretty much pristine condition. I, I, I tend to only pick these up if, if they're in good condition because you find so many there. You know, water damaged, or they've got serious dents or scratches, or you know, just been crushed. Um, but yeah, this one's in good condition, so I'll grab that. Uh, now, another Bond release that I needed for the set. Uh, this is on Her Majesty's Secret Service. So, just to have got that. And then this, I don't know anything about. Uh, I know about what the, the, the film's about, but the yeah, I've, I've never heard of it before. Um, but this is uh, Joyous Noel, um, set in uh, the First World War with the uh, Christmas uh, football match, Christmas Day football match in, well, I don't know what year it was, 1916 or 1917 or thereabouts, um, when the English and the Germans uh, sort of had a uh, ceasefire for a game of football at Christmas. Anyway. Moving on, these last two um, they came from Sue Riders, um, which have a bin from time to time of two for a pound DVDs. So, firstly, Eddie's Art. This is one that I didn't already have. I've got a few of his stand ups and uh, I do enjoy them. Um, so, this is Force My Me Major Live. I don't know if I've just butchered that, but. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing that one. And this last one is, well, the worst cover I've ever seen on a DVD. And it screams bootleg. Immediately, it screams bootleg. I don't think it is. Um, the disc is certainly looks uh, legit enough. It's, uh, you know, it's a, an official disc. It's not a a burnt disc um, when I've tried it in the machine um, it you know, starts up with the, the logo for the distributor and the copyright one and whatnot and then the film comes on like it says down there in 4x3 it looks like it's actually been uh, taken from a VHS copy and not not bootleg recorded from VHS copy, the, the source material they've used to, to release this is, is looks as if it's VHS, it's that sort of quality. But this this front cover is it's awful. And it did I, I just could not not get it. It's uh, it just looks so sort of seventies, possibly early eighties cheesy action. Um but it's got a great cast. Um, I didn't watch it all the way through, I just popped it in just to, to check what the quality was like, but <laughs> yeah, I, I just could not not buy that, uh, especially for 50p. Um, so yeah, that's it for this lot. Uh, I do have another bunch of DVDs. I, uh, I've been to Granger Games again this week and picked up uh, some more stuff. Um, so I'll do them in the next video. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Ta-ra.